video, I'd like to look at how we actually construct a histogram. Now, just a very quick recap. If we look at this width here from 0 to 10 and 10 to 20 and 20 to 25, we can immediately see that this is 10, 10, 5, 5, 20. So the class widths are different. So it means I can't use a bar chart. Now, on the next page, a histogram has already been drawn for us. So we've already got this histogram. And just to recap, you can see the different widths here. This first one from 0 to 10, that's 10 across the bottom. And there's no scale on the side where the frequency density is. They've got some graph paper they've used, but they haven't put the scale. So I'm going to work out the scale. If I take the frequency and divide it by the class width, which is 10, I get 0 0.8. And that is the frequency density, 0 0.8. So if I look on this, this is 0 0.8. So this has gone up 1. So this 1 square, is, or 1 big square is 1, 1 and a half, 2, and 3. So I've actually filled in the frequency density. So if I do 10 times 0 0.8, which is the height, I get a frequency of 8. So this one is 16. That's the frequency. And I'm going to divide it by the width of the class, which is 10, to get 1.6. So it's twice the size, twice the height of the previous one. This one is 15 divided by 5, giving me 3. And that one's already been drawn for us. We can check that in a minute. And so this one is 12 divided by uh, 5 again. And 12 divided by 5 is 2.4. So I'm going to draw all these in. In just a minute and the final one which is 6 and this is divided by 20 and 6 divided by 20 is 0 0.3 so 1.6 is the next bar so I need to go from here to here 10 across and up 1.6 let's just draw a line in here remember the lines must touch 1.6 uh, will be to there so I'm just going to draw across and there uh, you get the idea. So that is now twice the size of the one before it. This one is 5 times 3, 15. And the next one was 2.4. We'll just double check. 2.4 and then 0 0.3. So I'm going to draw this from 5 across and up 2.4. So 2.4 is there. Okay. Slightly out. But you get the idea. And we're going to come down with that line coming down here, getting slightly out. But if we're doing this for real, we'll be a lot more accurate than using a computer program. And then finally, the last one goes from 30 to 50 and 6, 0 0.3. So 0 0.3 is here and it comes across to 50 and down. So remember, no gaps between each bar. The area of the bar, 30 to 50, 20 times 0 0.3 represents the frequency, which is 6. So this is how you fill in a free, uh, histogram from a frequency table, by working out the frequency density and making sure that we use the height times the width to give the frequency.